Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, 24 set. Frustrating day yesterday. It really looked like equities were going to spill. Then we waited for New York to come in, and they just couldn't muster the energy. A uh, few China headlines out, and here we are back in the middle of nowhere. So uh, we printed a high of 30.12 overnight with these Chinese headlines about buying soybeans and whatnot. Uh, now here we are back at uh, 30.05. I don't know what to say except for just be patient. Uh, like we said yesterday, this is a break trade, 29.80, very unusually so. We usually do not break as break trade S&Ps. It's, uh, it's just too thick and there's too many, too many divergent interests uh, so break trading usually does not work but we are just sitting down here uh, with a stop loss entry just below 80 and we will continue to do so uh, looks unlikely today uh, but the week is early um, let's see let's see what happens uh, later on in the week today our focus uh, is on IFO in the morning we've got uh, some business sentiment out of France, which is sort of second tier. Um, Philly Fed, and then home prices in the U.S. Plus, we have uh, Governor Lowe speaking in Aussie, which is going to make uh, make Aussie move. So let's just take a look at this. Um, Euro's going nowhere. So much gamma around. There's so many options around 110. Um, Euro's going nowhere. Uh, you know, we, you could almost just try and buy it around 70, sell it around 30. This thing's going to be stuck around 110, we think, for the coming days. So for us, that means we just don't even trade it. Uh, we're not really looking at Euro at the moment. Uh, we do have this trend line, though. Let's just, if there is news, it's far away. But this trend line is important. Obviously, we've been talking about this. Uh, this comes in at like 65, so no, no chance in hell that's going to happen today. Um, but we are watching this as a sort of change in trend moment. Cable uh, at the mercy of headlines, not really doing too much. Difficult to trade. We're staying away. Looks like it wants a little bit lower, but no drama. Not sure what to do. Dollar yen uh, looks like we're going to sort of range trade today. Uh, we do like further downside here, uh, but we do recognize we could easily uh, shift back up uh, to 108 for a little brief look there. Today we'll be sellers between 80, um, 80 and the figure. Dollar Swiss, uh, same as the S and P's. We're break trading this through 9890. Uh, I don't don't have a great track record with dollar swiss so um, we'll have to see but this looks like we're heading lower right now we're just doing a little bit of a sideways motion so if you're trading this from the short side which i think is the correct side um, trade for an average now and add through 98.90 aussie doji yesterday low today um, it's pretty binary. The market's very short this, obviously, all of these big red days. We'll have to see what he says. A few of the uh, prognosticators out from the New York banks were saying that they're expecting him to be less dovish. That seems to be a conventional view going into this. Um, a lot of these guys are going to be buying Aussie just before the speech. Uh, we think that you need to wait and just be quick and listen to the speech and make your own decisions. It'll be pretty clear whether he's less dovish or very dovish. So I think it's around 11, the uh, speech from Lowe. So um, let's be ready for that. That will move the Aussie. Uh, you know, it's been, it's been 86.65 today. At 86, it's just basically a little stop-loss run. Um,
have to see where we go from here. Kiwi also heading north uh, with some of this positive trade news after many many down days from 64.50 down to 62.50 would do some consolidation um, this will follow Aussie today so just keep an eye on Governor Low. Euro Yen market is short from yesterday there will be stops above 50 uh, again with all of this gamma in the euro dollar market we don't expect much could easily take a visit up to 55 just to take out some weak shorts we could also easily go down through yesterday's lows uh, on a terrible IFO uh, but we don't expect way through any lows or way through any highs just a range trade today um, unless we get news you know from the Middle East or some tweets from Trump that'll really shake things up Euro Swiss is coming back a little bit. We printed down, uh, did we get a 50? 56 yesterday. My, my, Euro Swiss, it does my head in. Um, S a good chance SB's down at 108.50. We have no confirmation of that, but just knowing how they play. Um, and what that means is between 40 and 60 is your buy area because they'll let it go through 50. Um, just to try and be clever and tricky and let some stops get done and make it look more natural um, but it does look like they're down there nothing to do in Euro Swiss range traded I guess you could sell high ones uh, if you wanted to but uh, as you can see the theme today is not really a whole lot to do uh, let's look at Boone's we were sellers yesterday at 20, here it is at 18, it went all the way up to, um, oh wait, I'm sorry, that's, uh, that's T-Bonds, Boons, um, we're at 29 now, sorry, we're core short this stuff, we don't think, um, we're going to get above this high here, so we're, we're carefully core short, and we'll be trading it from the short side with the idea of getting a better average. Our base case is that the low in Boons, here's the yield, the low yield of 74 basis points is never going to be seen again. You will get support here between 55 and 60 basis points. Here we are at 58. Um, we're core short Boons. Looks a little bit twitchy right now, but we're just going to follow our trading plan um, and go with it. We've obviously been core short uh, for a while now, so if you're just jumping into this trade now, um, just make sure you have your plan fully set. Uh, core short. Boons. That's about it. We could talk about crude, but this really, this is just up and down like a horse drawers. It's like, you know, God knows, one, one, uh, tweet or headline were lower, one tweet headline were higher. My base case is there's going to be no war in Iran and this gap is going to get filled and crude is going to head lower. Um, but again, it's totally news driven so it's we're just kind of staying away for now. As you can see, not a whole lot to sink our teeth into today. We're going to keep it extremely light. It looks like a patience day. Aussie and low will be very, very important. IFO, I would say mildly important, but not hugely important. They've already marked that thing down so much, it could surprise mildly on the upside. Um, but in general, it looks like a shitty, rangy day. My suggestion to all of you is to trade less or do not trade at all. If for some reason, equities get down to 29.80 then you have to rev up the motor and get things going same thing with dollar swiss if for some weird reason we're down to 98.90 um, i will most likely pull the trigger down there unless it's like a real quiet mushy move down but those are break trades uh, very strict risk management principles around them the rest of it i'm just going to leave I may take a look at things when low, may, may take a look at Aussie when low is on the deck. But uh, again, today is trade less, be patient, 
maybe don't trade at all uh, is the call today. Uh, we still have to be here and watch, but we don't have to trade. So wait for very good setups. Don't just trade for the sake of trading. And I will see you all tomorrow.